We are the British International School Cairo. We reside in Cairo. We have leprechauns as science teachers and around 900, stu 900 students. We're doing a video about the collapsing can and it's very interesting so you should watch it. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo. Magic! Magic! The Collapsing Can by Bisque, the British International School Cairo. We place a small amount of water in the can. We place the can over the Bunsen burner so that it becomes hot. When the water begins to evaporate and steam rises from the can, you flip it over into a cold bowl of water. The can will then collapse, if you're doing it right, you idiot. But why does this happen? This happens because of magic. Maybe not. It actually happens due to pressure. Not pressure like, hey kids, take these drugs. Pressure is in the pressure of air bouncing off the insides of the can. The can collapsed because there was an irregular number of particles inside and outside the can. The can of coke usually does not collapse because there are a number of particles against the inside and outside surfaces. When the water evaporates, it pushes out the air and replaces it with steam. Then, by putting the, the can in the water, you are sealing off the opening so no particles can enter at the can. Water condenses on the side of the can and a vacuum is created. We will explain more on this later. So the number of particles hitting the surface of the out was greater than the inside of the can, causing them to collapse. A bit like 3,000 guys punching up one guy and he's putting up no defence. The water has nothing to do with the can collapsing, as is shown here. We used blue tack to block the hole and it collapsed. This proves that it, was not, it has nothing to do with cooling down. The reason the can does not usually collapse is because the pressure inside and outside of it are equal. When the water vapour condenses inside the can, it transforms into a liquid and all particles are at that, fall to the bottom of the can. Can collapses because the pressure inside and outside are uneven, with more particles hitting the can outside than bouncing off it inside. Particles on the outside cause the can to collapse because the pressure is too great for the can to take. I hope you enjoyed Bisque's experiment on the collapsing can and I will hope you have a nice day.